Birds. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Yo, my nigga, yeah, I'm Mitchell. Thank you for the nigga 27 months, my nigga. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, my nigga. Nigga, two years some change. Thank you, bro. So look, DSG, I hope y'all ready for us to have fun this time now. Y'all niggas ready for us to get back to some fun shit? I hope y'all ready. We about to have ourselves a good ass one. I already know it. All right. Because y'all already know. I fought with these niggas heavy, bro. So we about to watch this next. I ain't going to hold you. The Wiltshire, this might be for you because they be wildin'. As long as they ain't too wild, we'll be able to keep it for the gaming channel. If it's too wild, I'll let you know. So we about to watch the minorities again. The minorities, they got a new video they got out. Spring, I mean, not new video. Yeah, it was a month ago. Spring break for dummies. So I hope y'all ready to watch this and see what they talking about here. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on, DSG. A couple years ago, me and my friend Jason created a college survivor guide. Now, there's one vacation every college student looks forward to, and that's spring break. This is spring break for dummies. Now, when it comes to spring break, the beach is where the party's at. That's where all the fun's going to be. But before you hit the beach, you got to get you a pregame pump. A pump is basically a boner for your entire body. Once your wow. reflection turns you on, that's when you're ready to hit the beach. We're wow. at the beach right now, and it's... Nah, that's crazy, because the pump don't even last, bro. What? As a nigga that goes to the gym all of the time, the pump don't need last. Deal with people. So first thing first, you got to distinguish yourself. Don't just go shirtless like everyone else. Wear some floaties. That way girls see your nice body, but they also see you got a sense of humor. If you want to hide... Uh, wow. I would have never in my life thought about that. Because I ain't going to lie. With the way I look, I'm just walking out there with no shirt on. But I can see why if you look like this, if you look like this, then yeah, please put a shirt on. I mean, please put something on. Yeah. Because like, yeah, with... You don't really stand out in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you at a beach in Miami or something, you're not standing out. You just look like the average skinny dude. Unless you look really good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to look like just the average skinny dude. Yeah, but, yeah, that's, that's the reason why I work off, though, so I can look good with my clothes on and my clothes off. Looks like everyone else. Wear some floaties. That way, girls see your nice body, but they also see you got a sense of humor. If you want to hide your body, wear a virgin t-shirt. It's a great conversational piece. And you might get some Ah, he ain't lying about that one. Okay, I can say that. That probably is probably something to do for the young for the young ones. For the young ones. For everybody out here, of course, like you said, college spring break. Some sympathy pussy. But at some point, you're going to get hungry, but you don't want to buy overpriced food. Get you a lifeguard shirt, hat, and medical bag. Go up to some... Nah, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> what? Nah, bro. Nah, they know the cheat codes to life. Oh, but, but, but while we talking about these cheat codes, real quick, let me go ahead and put y'all on the cheat code to life. For everybody in who don't know, who shop at Wegmans? Hey, yo, bro, so look, DSG, I'm going to let everybody know. So Wegmans, they just got a new scale for the self-checkout, right? So every time you put the bag on the, on the scale first, it offsets it because you have to scan something first to put it. You, you got to scan something first, you know what I'm saying, so it can uh, calculate the weight of whatever you scanned. So if you, if you put the bag on it first and then you scan your item, it's going to scan that first one, but it's not going to scan anything else, but it's going to make the same sound and it's not going to have any buttons or anything like that. And you, all you got to do is keep throwing it in there. And then by the time you're done, take the bag, put it in your cart, put another bag there, and then you click OK to scan or whatever you're going to click after that. Or And then you just, hey, bro, that's how you finesse it. It's that easy. And then all you got to do is pay whatever you scanned. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you actually scanned when you click the button. But I don't click the button. I just keep going. I just... Bro, I'm just keeping, no, I ain't no criminal, nigga. I'm, look, bro, look, it is what it is. You got to learn how to finesse your way through life. Y'all just don't want to do that. It's real shit. That's all I do at Wegmans. As soon as I go there, I put two bags down purposely because I know it's going to offset the weight. Boom, scan one item. As soon as I scan that one item, it says it. By the time I scan the next drink, the thing is up there saying, oh, something with the scale or, or bag this item or bag separately, whatever the fuck it says. Now, just keep going and keep going. As soon as the bag's filled up, boom. Then I finally scan the next joint. As soon as it do it again, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, you just got to finesse your way through life, my nigga. Someone and tell them it's your lunch break, but you forgot to bring food. Trust me, it works every time. That's crazy. You, you ate too much of that pizza. <laughs> Oh my god! That's a question for the comment section. Single ply or double ply? Give these niggas a tutorial on how to wipe their hands. <laughs> oh my god. That's a big guy, because there's a lot of niggas out here with shitty booty. Beaches don't allow alcohol, but the truth is you can't talk to girls sober, so make sure you hide your liquor. Can't talk to girls sober. In your medical bag and in your liquid backpacks. Hey, I feel them though. Some dudes need that liquid courage. If you're anything like me, you suck it, at- I, I ain't gonna, it is easy. It is easy as hell to talk to girls when you got a little bit of lick in your system. I'm not gonna lie. That little bit of liquid courage, it be working. Y'all clearly said I didn't drink, but I'm just saying, it do be working though. Go bag and in your liquid backpacks. 
If you're anything like me, you suck at talking to girls. So here's a conversational tip. Use sunscreen to your advantage. It's an easy conversation starter. Getting girls in person is not enough. You also need to post some pics on IG. Think of social media like passive pussy income. While you're at the beach chilling, girls will be just swiping up on your story. So at this point, you should be well fed, slightly drunk, and have multiple girls lined up. Now you just spend the rest of your spring break enjoying yourself. Have fun, fellas. They just told y'all how to finesse the spring break. Chicken mouth! <laughs> Young Adrian Peterson. Oh God, his head in the game. I can tell you, I'm gonna hit that nigga. Oh. Oh. I ain't gonna hey. that nigga got butt. Appreciate it. What's your name? Naylee. Hey, bitch, you want to get him out? Let me get a pic real quick. I love you guys. I was watching y'all before y'all channel got deleted. I want a picture hey, I didn't know the channel got deleted. This mouth does everything. All the work you need. I don't know where the homies is at. I'm solo right now. Oh, I want you guys all the time. Thank you. No. And all of that. <laughs> all of that works too. That social proof shit. When I tell y'all how much that shit works. After being in Miami and seeing that shit for myself, that social proof works heavily. If you around and you got people coming up to you constantly trying to get pictures and stuff, bruh, you get everybody's attention. I've been plenty of places where people come up to me and they ask me to take pictures and then a random do it and they be like, oh, so who are you? I'm like, so you really just got a picture with somebody you don't know? And they do that, bro. Oh, no! No! Minorities! That's like, Minority, 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 bro! Minority, bro. Yeah, we're really we're twin at, we're twin at. We're somewhere in this month. Hey. This might be my natural habitat. I'm looking for the homie right now. I don't know where Jay is. This shit crazy. They out here throwing hands. Oh, shit. Where the you at, Jay? No! Damn! Come on, Jay. Live and direct. These niggas make this seem like this shit is so fun. Like, bro, does this not seem like this whole event is just super crazy? Bro, what? I'm from you niggas, bro. I'm fanned out as fuck, bro. They make this work. That's crazy. Y'all niggas got it for real. We out here in spring break. This shit is lit. Don't let a bitch walk past there. Uh oh, where's she headed? Oh my god! What's going on? I know you. Can I take a picture with you? Give me a question to ask the people. What's today's question? What's the craziest thing you've done on spring break? Fucked the tranny on a balcony. And I Yo! A trainee. Yeah, I was in the Air Force before. That's what we used to call people because uh, we was trainees, bro. When I was in the Air Force, you know what's crazy? This must be the work of an enemy stand user. You know what's crazy? When I was in the Air Force, our reporting statement was, Sir, trainee, whatever your last name is, reports is ordered. And that's crazy how they're still using it. I, it's, it's crazy. I didn't even... Got blacked out. It was actually my second time doing anal. I yeah. fucked two bitches wrong. Yo, what the hell? Bro, what the hell is going on here, bro? Actually, my second time doing anal. I fucked two bitches raw in the same night. I had a threesome in the bar. That's disgusting. Like, bro, for anybody who thinks shit like that is cool, when I tell you, bro, first of all, that means you have no respect for yourself. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, obviously, y'all know niggas have been through shit, but at the same time, bro, look, you have no respect for yourself, and a lot of dudes don't ever think about the women. Y'all don't ever think about the fact that you can set up, you can offset these women's pH balances. Bro, start thinking about that before you decide to, even if you decide to get your dick sucked. If you decide to get some head from a girl, you can best believe <coughs> there are germs in that girl's mouth. Now, you got to see how hygienic this girl actually is. You got to see how, you know what I'm saying, important hygiene is to her, bro. There's some girls out there who tongue be white as hell. They got gingivitis and all this other stuff. You may meet girls who don't even floss. They don't even know how to floss. You're going to let them give you some head. You're going to go over there, try to hit a joint raw, and you're going to mess up her pH balance, have her stinking down there, all because you hit it raw and after you did that. So trust me, that's not something to do, bro. In the bathroom. I was so drunk, I made out with some dude from Alabama. <laughs> Okay, y'all see how these white people be going? Cause like I be trying some money. I be the last nigga was yeah. talking about unnerved. I be chill, 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 chill on her nerve, bro. I be trying not to say it's the white people, but I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all white people be tripping. When I was in the air force, they did it. They did that, bro. They had a um, they they got a dude drunk for his birthday. The firefighters. They, they wonder why I didn't hang with them niggas. The white dudes. Um, they got a dude drunk for his birthday, and they got somebody. You know what I'm saying? To go in there and perform a, a sexual act on him, and that person just happened to be 
a stand user. Let's just say that. And uh, hey, a dude was too drunk. He didn't even know what was going on. But that's white people stuff. Y'all white people. I don't know. What's up with y'all? Y'all be tripping. Had a five foot. Four bitches. Two of them were sisters. He had two bitches. Just going around in a circle. Sucking dick. You just Peep this. Dark did. He said, hey, Daquan, out of all the, out of all the hoes you ever hit, you thought one of them uh, could be a robot in disguise? Why would I think that? Bruh, I'm not a dude that's just going in a dark room trying to hit something. No. I look at what I'm looking at. Bro, I don't just, oh, yeah, as soon as you get undressed, let me just hit you from the back, and then you can cover your shit up, and I'm in there. That ain't, that ain't how it go. I need to see everything. Just whipped your dick out, you was getting your dick sucked. We sitting in a bar, right? We met a bitch from Alabama. Suck my dick under the table, bro. At the bar. Swear to God, bro. We don't get and this nigga look like Ben Grimm. Do y'all see this nigga? Tell me he don't look like Ben Grimm. Bro. For any nigga in here, look, you see this? Bro, he old, bro look like he about old as hell, and he look like Ben Grimm. And still was able to get that. I be trying to tell y'all, bro. What a guy, bro. We don't get no hoes. We get rid of them. We met a group of guys on the beach. We went back to their Airbnb. We hooked up with one of them. Came back downstairs, grabbed another one. The rest of them just came up the stairs. Seven. In one night. They recorded it? So they did. Bro. And y'all niggas be wanting to let y'all girls go on a girls trip. Oh my god. I feel for y'all y'all young niggas who be dumb enough to do that. I feel for the young ones. And then the thing is, bro, do, do y'all realize why people like this uh put this stuff out there on camera, bro? Because there's always somebody desperate enough to get back with them. So my even the dudes too. Don't get it twisted. Well, that is wild. And this is the thing, her husband will never know that. Mm -hmm. Can't see, see, get see, see, either they won't know or it'd be some dude that's desperate enough because she they put it out there on the, on this. And now I'm like Deborah Cox because how we even get here? Ah! That's someone's daughter, too. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm I'm a very active father in my children's lives, bro. My son will respect himself, and so will my daughter. This bitch, you can ever answer some questions or say some feeling or some gas stuff. Yeah, hold on, we got two boards. Welcome to the cash cab, ladies. Hop in, hop in. What's your lady's destination? Let's go to the beach. Who am I here with today? What's y'all names? Maria. I'm Kimani. My name's Ashley. I'm Izzy. Caitlin. I'm Simon Franco. I ain't seen nothing that couldn't get hit yet. All of these bitches could have made the hit list. Yo, I ain't seen nothing that couldn't get hit yet. With, with, yo, all of them. Here with today. What's your name? Maria. I'm Kimani. My name's Ashley. I'm Izzy. Caitlin. I'm Simon Franco. I'm Abby. I'm That's the one I ought to hit. That Diamond Franco bitch look like a porn star. This girl look, she take facials. Oh, yeah, with that neck tattoo? Oh, yeah. This one of them free spirit bitches. This the one you need to hit. This is a free spirit. Any girl that say she a free spirit gonna let you hit on the first night. It might stink, though. It might. I'm Abby. I'm Gray. We go to ASU. We're here for spring break. Have y'all ever been in the cash cab before? We have not. I have not. I'm gonna break y'all down the rules and I'm gonna get... Have y'all ever been in the bank bus? Get y'all to y'all destinations. The rules of the cash cab is it's a series of 10 questions. First four questions, $25. Next four questions, $50. The last two is $100 questions. Typically, you spend money in the cab, but today you get to make money in the cab. First question of Put the cash cab Put your money up. I'll $25. eat all they asses. Wow. Wow. But I mean, all of them can get hit, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Five dollars. Abraham so Lincoln I, I, was I what understand. number president? First. Seven. Abraham Lincoln. I'm gonna say. Wow. If they would have said this, I would have just start the president song. That's it. I'm like the fifth president. George Washington, <laughs> John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> James Madison. Next I would have just start singing for it. Twenty-five dollars. What is the closest planet to the sun? Hey, hey, check this out. Check this out. Saturn. Guess again. Jupiter. I told y'all, a free-spirited idiot. Jupiter and Saturn. A free-spirited idiot. Th you see what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, th this is this is why you gotta appreciate the idiots. Guess again. Probably Uranus. Sit the fuck down. Probably Uranus. I feel like it's not Jupiter, but I feel like we should say Jupiter. Cause what's what's up with these bitches in Jupiter? Like, uh, are they serious? It's hot, but Mars is also hot. It starts with an M. M. I'm gonna say Mars. Is it Mar Mercury? Yeah, it is Mercury. What's oh. up, man? What's up, bro? I'm by myself. I ain't got no cameraman. Yo, all up. All up. I got so much talent out here, fellas. This shit crazy. I'm just solo dolo in this motherfucker. Got some talent out here. Yeah, homie. Where you headed, baby? Minorities, minorities. Oh, nigga, what's good? Bro? I got all some videos. Hi, nigga. Let me get up here.
brother, I'll take more hoes than you. I believe you, brother. I believe you. The fact that they're in college, y'all, says a lot. Hey, Zeb taught me everything I know. Hold on, it's hoes, though. Hey, let's get these hoes. Okay. She's not done. These bitches is nasty. I already fucked up the beach. Fuck my baby daddy. Oh, my God. Yo, thank God. I Look. Regardless of my son, mom being fat, at least, thank God, I picked the two bitches I picked to get pregnant. Because they have never at least been on this. My son, mom might, my son, mom might be fucking this barber. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just something between her and the barber. At least she ain't on camera saying, fuck my baby daddy, because she know better than be that stupid. You know what I'm saying? And at least they ain't being a whores on camera and shit. Thank, thank God I picked the two bitches I picked. I know who you are. Get me shaking up. Appreciate it, baby. Y'all have a good one. These bitches is chosen. What's going on? Been a fan, man, forever. Point me to a bitch. I'm trying to pop, damn. Point me to some. You know how this I get down. I fucked the bitch. Her sister was right next door, and I fucked her right after. You're legendary, brother. Is that a hickey? I'm about to get this little bitch number. I've been watching y'all you since you As a real play. King Nine Tails having a field day right now. He would love you it. Need some money. He would love it. Nigga, he that's what leave. you meant with it, Barber Tweet. Crying face. Mm -hmm. Crying face. Yeah. Where are you? You didn't know what that meant? If a woman goes to a barbershop and she just so happens to get a discount for absolutely no reason or the little boy gets a haircut for free, his mom is getting thrashed. If your son is trash at any high school sport, and they happen to get off that motherfucking bench. Your mom is fucking the coach. Now that you know, you know what I'm saying, move accordingly. Hey, you gotta shape your game from seeing other players. You see Dame, you see Giannis. That's why I fuck with y'all niggas. Y'all original. Oh, it's hoes out here. What you trying to do? You trying to hit a little two man? You hit the jab, I hit the haymaker. About to knock two piece. This is what you call a two man. Uh oh, we got some. Over here, over here. This white bitch thick. Hey, baby. Now, did you get the balcony knocked off the bucket list? Or I not yet? but I need to. You trying to go right now? You want to? Let's make it happen. What? Come on, let's go. Bruh, it's wild. It really used to be this easy. That y'all see what I'm saying? Do y'all see why I said before it was so many bitches out here and I didn't even know their name? It really was this easy. That's why I say I don't get how so many niggas be like, y'all, how do y'all struggle with having sex? Like, how do y'all struggle with getting girls, bro? Like, that ass, do y'all not leave y'all house? Or something? What is it that makes it a struggle to get bitches? What is it? Y'all saw the other day when Noonie just called me on the phone. I mean, when I called Noonie on the phone, the bitch showed me her titties right while I was on the phone, bro. Like, it's really, y'all don't understand how easy it is. Bro, I don't get it. Why? What do you, where do y'all niggas be struggling at? What is it? What's wrong with y'all? What is it, bro, that makes it so hard for y'all niggas to get bitches? It be this easy. It's gang time. I'll be back, fellas. Oh my God. Hey, 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 he really, see, now that's disgusting. Like, I, but that's young nigga shit. I ain't gonna lie, cause I can't stop thinking how disgusting that is at this age. Bro, you really grab some random girl. Do you need some money? You don't know how to smell. She been on the beach all day. A wife. Bro, like, as I think about this, bro, you don't know Where's how that the bitch, N -words? You don't know she washes herself well. Yo, Pesto, thank you for that prom sub. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, my nigga. Welcome to DSG. But, yo, y'all don't understand, bro. Like, that is that nasty. Like, this bitch can have anything. Her pussy could stink. She could have just fucked somebody else. Is she that easy? Like, bro, I, like, bro I'm so glad... That, that I didn't end up with like some shit I couldn't get rid of or anything, but I wish I had somebody else telling me to respect myself. Y'all in the house for the night? No, I'm coming in to you in the bathroom. All right. But yeah, man, because this is disgusting. Like, bro, the old me, I would have, man, what? I was wilding. So I'm saying, like, the old me would have been like, yo, hey, it is what it is. It, it happened. But now that I look at it, it's like, oh my God. That is utterly disgusting, bro. You, like some random joint you talk to for all of a few minutes, and you taking her back to the hotel to hit that fast? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All good. Appreciate I'm going to be right back. You too. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. My new oh, I'll be right back. Crazy. I'm headed to the hotel right now. I got to go run a plug. What's happening, man? I'm headed to the hotel right now. I'm about to be right back. What's the question today? I just see a bitch and I pop. What's happening? But see, that's the thing. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll be thinking about shit a lot more now, too, because I'm not going to lie. It's not even just about the women. It's about me. I'm walking the beach all day. What? Bro, y'all niggas in here, y'all know you a man yourself. You know how you smell down there after walking around a hot ass beach all day? Come on, bruh.
What? I ain't trying. I ain't trying to have no girl even, you know what I'm saying, go down there. I, me walking around a hot ass beach all day? Hell no. And I'm talking about that could be after I done sugar scrub, body wash, and face and a uh, body conditioner. What the hell? Man, yo, like, I don't know. Maybe I just think about this shit too much now. Cause the old me, it would have been nothing. I never thought about how nasty this actually was, but when I got older, it's like, damn, oh, this is nasty. So, like, this is crazy. Are you famous? Nah. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Said, nah. Oh, Holy shit. They showing love out here for show. <laughs> Hot coochie. Fuck a lot. Ugh. Shit gonna smell like used boxes. That's what I'm saying. But I ain't gonna hold you. Some girls, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some you are running to, it, don't, it ain't gonna be the pussy. It don't, the pussy don't stink. Like, maybe they body might smell a little different. Obviously, because they're out all day, but I ain't gonna lie. Some girls you're running to, they pussy just don't stink at all. Like, I'm going, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. They don't have any, like I told you, in Italy, I ain't running to any Italian girl that had, that had stink pussy. You got it. I got this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna get my sleeve done this weekend. Alright. <clears throat> this one, this one. I'm gonna get my sleeve done this weekend. Bro, really took her back to hit? Bro. Yo, nah, bro. Ew, man. Bruh. Dog, look at this, yo. Dog, come on. Bro, what? That is terrible. That fast, bro. Ew, man.
Next question for $25. Give me three primary colors. Yellow, blue, red, red, blue, and Do yellow. You need red, yellow, and blue. You good? Yes, yes, buddy. <laughs> yeah, for $25, this is the last question. What is an isosceles triangle? Um, <laughs> three sides, but they're all different. It's not just like a 3D triangle. It's like a long <laughs> flat on the bottom. It's a triangle, but it's like tilted. To left or to tilted? right? I want to say left. Yeah, Storm Kage, that's a fact. He said, I can't do one night stands no more. It's like, bro, I just respect myself too much now. Every time I even think about like fucking with a girl, the first thing I think is if this ain't gonna go anywhere, I ain't even trying to hit. It's weird, right? Because I be thinking like, as a man, I'm not gonna lie, because we don't ever think like this. I always be thinking, yo, I ain't really trying to get my body up like that. Okay, so these are the fifty dollar questions. First fifty dollar question: Mary's father has four children. Nor on, on, uh, yo, uh, man, the coach said he ain't waste no time getting on that balcony. Miami's this easy? You'd be surprised, my nigga. Yes, bro. Yes, dog. One thing you'll learn about Miami is this, right? It, I already tell niggas all the time. It humbles a lot of bad bitches, right? Because they go there and they think they bad, but then all of a sudden they see Miami bad and they don't realize Miami bad is a completely different thing. So you go up to girls, they not gonna be how they would be in your hometown where they all acting bad and bougie and all the extra shit. They gonna be like, yo, you know what? I might have to just go because if I ain't going, nigga gonna go for a bad bitch anyways. You know what I'm saying? And then even some bad bitches. One thing you're going to see is some bad bitches in Miami. They holler at you, my nigga. North, South, and East. What is the fourth child's name? Mary. <laughs> I knew it was some sort of trick question. That's why I was sitting here thinking. But then you said West, and it made sense. Next question for $50. If donuts are 12 cents a dozen, how oh much God. is 100 donuts? A dollar? No, a cent. Oh, it's one. It's a cent and it's a dozen. 12, 24. What's next? 36. So 12 cents a donut. I would say like $24. This is hard. 60. Should we say 12? Is it 12? Are we dumb? Wait, can you ask it one more time? 12 cents. Okay, look, I got to give them the benefit of the doubt, right? They in Miami just getting in a random van. These bitches might be drunk. I'm just going to say, hey, if they drunk, hey, look, 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 I'm like, look, you got to give them some type of leeway. Maybe they might be drunk. You asked me that question after a few Henny and Red Bulls. I'm going to sit there and look at you like, what the fuck did you just ask me? It's times 12. I would say like $12. There's no way we can get this question. <laughs> Next question. What state did the Boston Tea Party take place at? Boston Tea Party? <laughs> Massachusetts. I like Boston, New Jersey. I was just about to say. Nah, bro. I was about to say there's no way, bro. But girl, that's not I, Nah, because I, I, thought, I thought this bitch was going to say Boston. Bro, I was about to, I, I was just waiting because I was like, I know somebody going to say Boston. I know somebody going to say Boston. Option, I don't know. Oh, wait. Boston, Massachusetts? Oh, wow. Massachusetts. What are you saying? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts. They we're both got in. some nice teeth. Massachusetts? So. Yeah, we're locking they in. They both got That some is nice correct. Like <laughs> We live and direct out here. This shit is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I just went on a quick little mission, but I'm back in action. Everything just be falling in my life. Do you see what I'm saying? Quick little mission and right back out there. Dog, man, the old me. I Like, I could have, but it just now, I just, man, I just can't stop thinking about how dirty that is, bro. Nigga. Bro, I just, ah, man. How do y'all feel about it? Like, on some real, because, like, dog, it'd be so many times where I tell y'all nigga shit, and then all of a sudden, niggas be like, no, nah, Daquan, I wish I could have done that. And I'm like, yo, it's really not what you think it is. Uh, like, after you do it, like I said, like, at this age, it's just, ew, this is nasty as fuck. Like, I can't believe some of the shit I've done in my life. It's just been disgusting. But this is, oh, my God, bro. It's like, because some of y'all niggas don't get no bitches at all. And I know some of y'all niggas want bitches to be this easy because you've never gotten them. Do so don't fucking lie now, nigga. Hell the fuck? No. No, no. <sighs> This is nasty as hell, man. Ew, bro. Oh, shit. And then the, the stink. Do you need walking somebody? Around all day. I'm oh, not my gonna God. sit here and act like I got the infinity stones of hoes, but getting women, it's not that hard. You have to be in the right spots and interact with people for real. I found out real quickly how my time shouldn't be given to dumb people, but nigga, these conversations be mad funny. Get you a woman with respect for herself and intelligence. I was just Wise say words from a fat young nigga. From a fat young nigga. Nah, but for real though, man. That's cause that's nasty as hell, y'all. Like, bro, beach all day. Ew, then imagine that they got in the water. Oh shit. Ew. Oh fuck. Ew. Yeah, shit. That 
What the fuck, man? I just can't imagine all of this. Like, what the hell, bro? Black. Bitch, look at me for two seconds. That's too long. Don't let a bitch look at Zed. I didn't, I don't think I threw a damn punch. Best YouTubers on the planet. <laughs> this is a young old nigga. God damn, bro. God. Nigga got his wig blew off, nigga. Look at this nigga shit, bro. See, it's niggas out here to get to live their lives like this, and y'all cook me for my hairline, bro. It's niggas out here with your Dion and this, this shit. This is where I want to be. I want to fight. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. You ain't gotta go there to fight. Blew this nigga shit back though. But it's like, bro. But y'all got nerve to talk about me? Who's whose is really worse? Mine or his? Let's really be real here, dog. Is mine? Oh, is mine or his, bro? Mine or his, bro? Of course, y'all gonna start. You know what, man? No. Hey y'all, of course, of course. I knew y'all was gonna do that. I knew y'all was gonna do that. I knew y'all was gonna do that. So, so, you, so, mine is really worse than his. Mine is dead ass worse than that. Mine is dead ass worse than this. Like, really, nigga? My shit is dead ass worse than this, nigga? That nigga pulled up to the scene with his ceiling missing. Y'all mean to tell me my shit is definitely worse? My shit is dead ass worse than that. His. Right, he got the Dr. Robotnik Quaker Oats joint. Do you need some money? You backed yourself Quaker in a corner nigga. with it one ounce. Nah, the Quaker Oats joint, nigga. They said the Quaker Oats. <laughs> nah, for real though. The Quaker Oats though, nigga. But yeah, man, look at this nigga shit, man. Nigga shit way back then, nigga. This must be the work of an enemy stand user. How? How? Get him on screen How? and watch his ass get cooked too. Nigga nah. look like a bald bitch. Yeah, but guess what? It don't happen in real life. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. See? At least he got hair. You just got scalp. Where? Where, 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 where you see your scalp at? Oh, all right, oh, all right, oh, all right, all right, oh, all right. Where you see that at? I've been growing my shit. I told y'all I'm not trying to grow my. I don't. I don't like. I don't like cutting my shit bald. I don't like that feeling of being bald. That. Like it, it, it just doesn't feel that great. But yeah, nah, I, I cut it. I cut it when I want it to be seen. When I don't want it to be seen, I don't like going around with a bald, with a bald head. That shit don't feel good. It don't like you sweat a lot easier, and it actually gets on things. Like fuck that, man. Hell no. I don't like that shit at all, bro. But you could best believe every time I'm gonna take this motherfucker off, I'm gonna have my shit cut all the way. You could damn sure believe that. But then, um, yeah, I don't want, I don't like getting bumps in the back of my neck, any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? They just shut shit down. Shout out to the police. Y'all see, I had my medical bag. If any nigga got injured, I was gonna help a nigga out. The shit that you are doing out here, bro, impact is real, bro. I want you to know that. I don't know you personally. I don't know what you're going through or how you feel right now. I need you to know your effect is real, bro. I'm telling you, I'm living proof. But look, like I told y'all, bro. Look, my barber even told me he ain't gonna lie. He said it's over for me. Cause he said he said it's because I kept cutting my hair. I mean, I kept cutting it all the way off. He said if I didn't cut it all the way off, I'd have been straight. He he said it. He said it straight up. He said, dog, because he's like, your shit was back there. He said, but it wasn't like, it wasn't bad as you made it. He said, you made this shit that bad because you kept cutting your shit all the way off. And he was like, I ain't going to lie. If anything, you probably got about two cuts left at the most, but your shit's going to be way back further than it was. And he was like, yeah, you got about two two cuts left at the most before it's just it ain't it ain't even going it ain't gonna be a point but but i'm gonna let y'all know something maybe niggas at the barbershop with they shit back here and still getting they shit cut back here my shit is damn you know what minorities in this bitch all your videos man appreciate the love what's happening brother what's happening keep up your shit man appreciate the love nice what's happening man hey i watch all y'all podcasts y'all real motivational <laughs> you a pinata the greatness is in you you just got to find a way to get it out of you you know what i'm saying don't look externally it's all internal i, ain't I want some water taking a little water break oh another thing and for for all the niggas in here who, who don't know either yo look Cause um I used to do this shit all the time when I was in Italy, right? Young nigga with six pack and shit like that. One thing was this, right? Yo, 
It's a cheat code. It is what it is. If you had a six pack, if you got a six pack, a cheat code. Well, obviously, if you want a beach like this, walk around with no shirt on if you got a good physique, right? Because I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna get a lot of females' attention. They're gonna want want to continue to touch you. You gotta understand, most average niggas, y'all seen most of these niggas on here, what they actually look like. Most of these niggas are not built, not cut, anything like that. If you have yourself an aesthetic physique. Cheat code. You walk on a beach like that, bitches are gonna touch you. They are gonna walk up to you, touch you. I'm talking about nonstop. You are gonna get so much attention, they gonna make sense. Some bitches might even wanna take a picture with you if your body is really like that. But cheat code, right? Six pack. I used to be in a club like this <laughs> and just let my let my stomach show. I just have my hand like this sometimes, act like I'm scratching something. Bitches come right over there, and put their hand right up my shirt, like it's nothing. I'm talking about bro. Had bitches lick my stomach, all types of shit, bro. But yeah. Cheat code for all the young niggas in who don't know. Bro, you get yourself an aesthetic physique, easy way, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, you walk around a beach like this, you got an aesthetic. I'm talking about like good ass aesthetic, aesthetic physique, whatever, like you built for real, but not like super bronze, no bodybuilding type shit. But I promise you, a lot of bitches going to want to walk up to you, touch you and everything like that, bro. A lot going on go. out here, fellas. I asked two questions for $100. What is your cash cab confession? My recent ex, I fucked his homie, his neighbor, his ah. Uh, yeah, I went crazy. And, and, and one day she gonna be looking for a husband, y'all. And one day she gonna be looking for a husband. But the thing is, I gotta hold men to the same standard. Because I have said... The things that these guys done has, has been disgusting, but they don't seem like they're looking for wives. Do you need some money? That's why some niggas crash out. Do you need some I money? I would never crash out or What ESTG say? Do you need some money? Oh my God. She wasted no time. She Yeah, she just, she straight up went for it. Hey, that's how some of these bitches are, bro. Look, that's why I try to tell you. All you niggas in here, if you think you're going to do a girl dirty... That girl can do you 10 times worse because niggas are desperate. Niggas are terrible. Y'all got to understand this, bro. Your brother might even fuck the same bitch just to get some pussy if she offers it up. I'm trying to tell y'all, that girl can do you way worse. There's niggas' fathers who will turn on them just like she did. There's niggas' brothers who will turn on them, cousins, all types of family members. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. You you swear this yo this is my man this is my best friend whatever he is I promise you bro that nigga turn your turn on your ass quick for some pussy yo the most fucked up part about it is the niggas are turn on their nigga for some pussy over some money what niggas are, niggas are turn on you quick over some pussy before they turn off you over some money nigga go off for a million dollars nigga ain't gonna fold bitch offer some regular ass pussy up nigga fold real quick on your ass bro I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. One time I jumped VIP and met an Ali Chapa. Oh, I've like never cheated. I've never done anything crazy like that. We can always plead the fifth. I get it. I like those type. Y'all don't like money. Y'all don't like money. I understand. One time I had messed around with a married man. When I lost my virginity, we snuck on this random person's boat. That's where I lost my virginity money. and it was great. You gave inspiration to stop being a bitch and sign up for the police academy. Thank you. BTWM new here. I ain't gonna lie after me and my dog fell out. I took his girl down. I ain't gonna lie, that's some whole ass shit. That's some whole ass shit, bro. Bruh, there's never been a time I fuck with any of my niggas girls. Ever. Exes, girlfriends, baby moms, never. Not a single time. That's what I told you. We stand on loyalty for real. When I tell you how strong this loyalty shit is, when me and my niggas, we don't fold for shit. Why you think when them people threw that bread at this us? This is a sick Negro. When them, when them people threw that time at us, they couldn't make us fold. Do you need some you know money? Don't, Bitches don't, play don't it care all, about bro. fat niggas that want to go for strength. They don't. Uh, but I'm no, Well, yeah, obviously, that's why you don't need to do that if you need to go for aesthetics. Why the hell Cause you, Why do you hell you want to be fat and go for strength? Oh, yeah, well, I, I want a whole bunch of guys to say, oh, man, you're strong. You think bitches are around, are around there trying to fuck a power lifter? You think bitches is, is is at a powerlifting competition? Like, oh man, I can't wait to fuck uh, what, what what's that that uh, Mitchell Hooper? Fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wouldn't do it. But yeah, nah, for real though, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie to some whole shit, bro. Like you can't do that, bro. I, look, the thing is, I'm gonna let you know something, man. You already was a fucked up nigga. You know what I'm saying? Before y'all fell out, because you already had that in your mind. Do you need somebody? I'm gonna let you know that. Wait, hold on now. They were exes when I did. Exactly, because you a whole ass nigga. 
You a whole ass nigga for that. Let me tell you why. Like I just said, you already had that in your mind. Put it like this, bro. There's no way in hell you would have thought of even... Why would that bitch even come to you to fuck you? Nigga, think about it, bro. I told you. There's not a single one of my niggas exes that would ever even try me. You know why? Because they know damn much... They know we don't play like that. They know it. Guaranteed. You cannot get us to fold. My baby mom could go out there and try to fuck any of my niggas. They will not fold at all. They, she knows it. She know, she, she, couldn't, she wouldn't try. She can't. We not folding. The thing is, you already had it set in your head you'd fuck his ex. You would fuck his girl while he was with her. I have a set in my head. It was, it's never even a thought of even looking at my niggas' girls. Oh, that's your joint? I bet. That's it. But some of y'all niggas got to watch out when you even got some girls you talking to. Some of y'all niggas be giving it, some of y'all niggas friends be giving it away straight up and you don't even peep it. Let me tell y'all how to peep the signs, right? Look, do you need this what I'm, this what I want y'all niggas nah, to nah, do. that's premeditated. You that's said what I'm yes, saying. so that's your part sealed. Mm -hmm. That's wild. That's what I'm saying, Ben. Yo, that's some whole shit. But peep this though. Let me let me tell y'all niggas real quick how to peep the signs. Look. Have a girl that you plant that you try and fuck with and get serious, right? Bring her around your nigga. Watch how your man's play it as far as see what he got to say about her and shit. That'll show you right there exactly what he really think and in that moment. If he, oh, she this, she that. Dude, why you keep talking about the girl I'm with, bro? You got plenty of other girls, you know what I'm saying? You got girls you can fuck with. Why you keep so, why you so worried about the girl I'm with? Oh, damn. Oh, well, that's you? Damn, she got a fat ass. Oh, she do? Oh, that's you? Oh, she do that? She do this? She do that for you? Mm-hmm. You got to start. You got to peep the signs, bro. It be niggas like that that put themselves out there on Front Street, but you just don't peep it. You got to peep the signs, y'all. For real, man. So, yeah, you don't ever want to be a nigga that says, oh. Because the thing is, man, I'm going to tell you something do right you now. you need some money? Loyalty means everything to my group. My yeah. friend got we screwed over by shit. his other he trusted. Me and my other friends were about pull up like it was in his lobby. Do you need some money? We stand strong. So if me shit. and bro ain't cool no more after ten years, why it matter if I knock his ex down? If we were still tied, then I ain't making no types of moves. I wouldn't even but thought if about we it. But ain't shit, you just another nigga. Cause I wouldn't thought about it. Say for instance, right? Me and the nigga James, we ain't been cool. I don't even know how long, but I don't even look at his exes. He got this one white bitch you was fucking with that tried to fuck with me. Asking I didn't do it. Asking for any contact info is an automatic red flag. I don't even think about it. But, but Ben, but Ben, peep this though. That, that's, that's not what happened though. And you know that. You, you, you throwing the, you throwing the if, ands, and buts. You know that ain't what happened. It wasn't no 10 years or none of that. It was not like that. Like I said, look, me and my niggas stand strong on this loyalty shit. If any of my niggas was to fall out with each other, we know we still ain't fuck with nobody's exes. It just was what it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, bro, the thing is this, right? A lot of y'all niggas don't understand. There's so much pussy out there. Why the fuck are you worried about something that another nigga fucked? Another nigga you know. You niggas can't just go out there and fuck yourself a different girl. You really be thinking you got to fuck the same girl your friend did? You have to? It is a dire need to fuck this one bit of pussy? Do you not? Can you not get some other pussy? You had to focus on this one pussy. You can't go get some more from anyone else. some money? It's not like a real? violation to even FW your man's girl or Nah, ex. for real, bro. You gotta understand. Like, y'all niggas be acting like that's the only bit of pussy you ever want to get in your life. Oh, no, nah, man. Do oh, you need no, some but money? she wanted me, Dick Warren. It's because Terry, small women out there, you don't think about fucking your friends' ex after they break up. Yeah. You've been thinking about it since they got together, and that's ho shit. And, and, niggas and show their true saying? colors over women. Weird. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. That's why I said niggas will fall out over pussy before they fall out over money. Let me handle oh, shit, this, man. Dequan. First off, I think this nigga lying. If he ain't <laughs> lying, you a fake ass nigga. Yo, and a stupid on, ass nigga cause you bragging about being a fake ass nigga. You a lame ass bitch. It, you young niggas don't got no type of principles or loyalty. Nah, bro. Well, my nigga said it was 10 years later. 10 years later, I'm pretty sure Band is not the youngest nigga in here, bro. Let's get that clear. But nah, Ben, on some real shit though, bro. Look, just learn. Look, when it come down to loyalty, you should really stand on that shit strong, bro. You got to think about it. Would you ever want somebody to snake you like that? You know what I'm saying? And think about it. How would you feel about your ex and your mans? You be like, yo, this is my nigga. And now he with, he with the girl that I used to fuck? The girl that I was with? The girl that I was in love with? Whatever it may be? You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, like I said, when I was younger, I, I had, bro, don't get it twisted. These are lessons that I learned with experience. Because when I was in Italy, 
my mans, when I left, when I, I was about to leave Italy and everything, it was a lot of niggas that wanted to fuck my ex. Because, like, she was bad. Her body was so on point. Everything like that, right? There's a lot of niggas that wanted to fuck with her. But nobody was going to try it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, niggas who fuck with me, they, they wouldn't do it. The niggas who didn't, of course, they was going to try it. So then one of my mans, he came to me and he asked me, could he do it? Now, because I was leaving Italy. This was a girl I was in love with. This was a girl that I asked to marry me, and she said yes. Caught me cheating, and of course it didn't go through, but this was that. This was that. I had to find out this ain't really my nigga. You've been plotting the whole time. You've been the thing is, you wouldn't have to ask me. You only you the only reason why he asked me, y'all, the only reason why he asked me is because I was still there and he wanted to do it immediately. He wanted to do it as fast as he can get it out the way. My nigga, all he had to do was wait for me to leave, and he could have did it. He asked me, not because he was a real nigga. My dumb ass thinking this is a real nigga. You asked. Nah. You was a whole hoe out here. Bruh, you could have waited till I left and just did that. Nah, you was that desperate to fuck this one girl. You was so desperate and we in Italy. You needed to fuck her so bad. You couldn't have fucked any other bitch. You was like, can I fuck her, please? That badly? That's what I'm saying. Like, look, I had to learn about, like, niggas, you know what I'm saying, being on whole shit like that. You feel me? So, yeah, man. You know, Trini still, why you got to remind me, though, bro? Why you got to remind me, though, nigga? Don't, don't even remind me, nigga. What the fuck wrong with this nigga, man? Fuck wrong. Yo, there's no way this nigga Jay Dizzle is dead ass. He said, did you ask that Italian girl to marry you before you had kids? Nigga, my kids are 9 and 10 years old. No, they're both nine. They're, my daughter's eight. She about to be nine in two weeks. Nigga, I was nineteen when I had kids. You tell me. I'm being. I'm gonna be thirty five next week. My kids are nine and eight years old. You tell me, my nigga. What the fuck do you think? At night, like nigga, 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 nigga. Great, it's fucking amazing. I got trained by two midgets. And Can please somebody please Deborah Cox? Somebody please pray to Deborah Cox. Somebody please, somebody please cue it. Somebody please cue the Dumper Cox. Somebody please, please. What, cause what the hell? Cause somebody- Now I'm like Deborah Cox, cause how we even get here? Ah! <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck? Yo, what Do the you need some money? What the fuck? Fruit that gives me butterflies. Bro, what the hell? What the fuck was that? Nigga. Yo, how did that, how did that happen? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Nigga. Trained by Do two midgets. Money. Shiny dwarf. <laughs> it could have been. Do you need some Before money? we know. She was fucking that baby alien nigga Bro. on fan bus. Yo, Do you need some money? She might have. M25. Was she? M saying we were friends for 10 years and we fell out over some bullshit. Yeah. I said, well, if you want to be a bitch ass nigga, then I ain't gonna have no type of respect for you. So if your rex is down, what reason do I go to not do it? I was gonna keep going, but she said she got drained by what now? Man, we off, we off you, bro. We off you. <laughs> this nigga bad said I was gonna keep going, but she got trained by what? <laughs> nigga, you heard this bitch, bro? What the fuck, nigga? I did not expect that. But I tell you, that was so random. Free spirit, my ass, bro. shorty, a spirit hairline. She is, nigga. She a soul reaper, nigga. We, we snuck on this random person's boat. That's where I left my virginity, and it was great. It was fucking amazing. I got trained by two midgets and the fam bus. Fuck. Do you know who Dylan Baby is? Do you need some money? DSG, that's a new clip, and we need to make that a new bits emote. You meant that? You meant that when you said it. What the fuck? How did you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Didn't I say earlier she looked like a porn star? Y'all remember when I first when she first got on the screen? I said she looked like she liked facials. She looked like a porn star. Wow. When we first started this motherfucker and she was on there, I said that. That's crazy. So I broke the internet twice. What's better, midget dick or regular dick? Regular dick. Okay, now this is the last $100 question to complete wow. the cash cam. What is your body count? Do you yeah. need some money? Yes, nigga, the shit I'm went virgin. viral months ago. I got a great memory. That's disgusting, bro. That That's disgusting. 
Like, bro, I, that's crazy. Like, one because I'm still with that man. I'm still waiting for my wow. first kiss. Wow, wow, wow. Still waiting for my first kiss. Wow, wow, and she's pretty too. Wow. Congrats on her. Congrats on her. Congrats on her. It's 24. I would say baby alien is like a half. Honest answer, 32. I keep track on it on a list on my phone. That ladies. I used to write them down in the spiral notebook, so I can't really even get mad. I can't get mad. This is for y'all. Y'all split right. it I, I had a spiral notebook, and then I was just like, you know what? It, it, you know, Because like some I couldn't have names. I didn't have names, and I would just put like a, a dash and then like the location. Cause it was, just, and then, yeah, I, I lived the life, y'all know it. And then sometimes I woke up and I don't remember anything that happened, and people had to tell me I was fucking. So I was like, okay, how many bodies I caught? And then it may be a night I caught one or two, and I don't remember. And then yeah, I don't even remember what they looked like because I didn't know them. And it was just like yeah, I, yeah, it was. It, it used to get really. I was a wild nigga. That's what I'm saying. That's why I tell y'all so much all the time to not be like that and respect yourselves, cause. It's so nasty. That is disgusting. Thank, Thank you, Cash Cab. 240, 260, 280. Thank you, Cash Cab. Thank, 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 Thank you, Cash Cab. Thank you, Cash Cab. Thank you, Cash Cab. Shout out to them for their teeth. They have nice teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Right now, we looking for some hoes. Let's go in the middle. Let's go in the middle. You remember me, bro? Oh, G.O.D., you went crazy in the video. I can shout myself out real quick. If the booty fat, you know, you know where I'm at. at. Do say, get your loose. If the booty fat, you know where I'm at. Do say, get your loose. Why you got so many bees, though? He got bees because he was selling his ass. Look at my creation. Wow. Now, pee back to me. If the booty fat, you know where I'm at. You smart for a light skin nigga. Dark skin niggas really the best. Y'all had y'all little run from 2014 to 2015. Hey, I'm just chilling solo. I ain't got no cameraman. Shannon, brother, yeah, I'm one of them. What do these bitches want, bro? Dick in their mouth. There's no way. You mind being my cameraman? I know you. Where you know me from? We took a picture together. My name's Tim. Nice to meet you. What's going on, brother? What's happening? My name's Tim. Brother, they show love out here, brother. How you doing, brother? Shout out to the minorities. Press chat up. I got a whole group chat. Our shit got a minority. Inspiration. Oh, my mama. Y'all got your shit deleted? I'm resubscribed. There's children out here. Where's his parents? I got this camera right now because wow. of y'all niggas, bro. I know wow. you. The minorities. My name's Zebediah. I'm not gonna hold y'all as a father. I would literally hate, I would hate that so badly. As a father, I would be like so pissed off. If y'all see how mad I get when I see like kids getting mistreated or kids in places that they shouldn't be, y'all be like, yo, this nigga Daquan act like it's his kid, but yup, that's just me. Zebediah? Oh, I got two. I got a two man right here, brother. How we doing, ladies? Speak if we get a the beads is I earned, not given. Not How'd you earn that? I don't earn it. I ain't gave you one yet though. Nigga, the police is on us right now. I hope y'all like today's video. We getting kicked off the beach right now. This shit crazy. I got a wow. shower. Them niggas is dirty and them bitches is nasty. They was all over me. They couldn't keep their hands off me. Lifeguard, they was choosing on lifeguard. Don't save no hoe. Y'all need to stay home during spring break. No bullshit. This shit is nasty out here. If your girl is out here on spring break. My kids can't come out here on spring break. Spring break is See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm making sure my kids know, bro. Gonk yet said, how, "Yo, how often do you use the body scrub thingy? Are you talking about sugar scrub, bro? If you're talking about sugar scrub, you at least want to exfoliate your skin twice a week. If that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about the body scrub thing that you use to put the your uh, body wash on the loofah thing, and then you you that's an everyday thing. Oh, you're talking about the uh, sugar scrub? Yeah, sugar scrub at least twice a week. But the thing is with me, look." This is how I see it. Twice a week at the very least. But it all just depends on the activity. If I plan on fucking, I'm going to do it before I fuck. If I plan on going to a hotel, I'm going to do it before I lay down in that hotel bed or anything like that. These are all white sheets. Dead skin can come off. And when that dead skin comes off, it can be dirt. It's going to be dirt. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't want to have any dirt or anything on my skin. So, yeah, bro. I always do that either, like I said, before events, before fucking, before getting in the hotel, or uh, twice a week at the very least. We got everything on the list, but we- and, and, and Falcon, and the fact that you thought that was real says a lot. We need to use the condom. My hotel is right there. Define use it though. Bro, I need to fuck her with the condom. <laughs> <laughs>
You gotta make some happen. I'm bro. going I'm, in the bag. Like, I'm gonna get it done. What? In the what bag. are you? You're gonna fuck her in the car in the daylight? Yes. On a scale of one to wow. ten, how horny are you right now? Like a five. Whoever get down first get twenty bucks out of it. See what I'm saying, y'all? Look, it, it, like, bruh, like I said, as a young nigga, it's just nothing to do with this. But it's like when you get older, you like, I wouldn't even horny enough. I just fucked because the opportunity presented itself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, uh, yo, uh, Kazi Mari, you got to figure out which ones work for you. I use Tree Hut, but not every single Tree Hut sugar scrub works the same. There's some that actually do a good job. I mean, a better job than others of Tree Hut, but that's the brand that I use. But yeah, there's some that do a better job than others as far as like the different, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, scents and things like that. Some do a better job than others. Hold up, y'all, because it's 823, and I'm trying to figure out why don't I have my, ki my kids in here. Let me see how, li how, how dark it looks outside, because y'all about to have to see the parent come out of me. Give me a second. Let's see what these little niggas are doing. All my little babies. <laughs> All my little babies are outside digging up some things trying to plant some seeds oh poor little babies and it's not even that dark outside oh they're outside trying to dig up some uh some holes and plant seeds oh my little babies yo cozy boy baby nah some people be needing it look it, certain things we had to do we had to grow up and, and just figure it out hey but if they can find out why not why not Easy, easy O said the scrubs all the same. Just get your favorite scent. No, it's not, nigga. That's why I know you don't even use them, nigga. The fuck you mean, Easy O? Nigga said they all the same. No, the fuck they not, nigga. You dirty ass, nigga. No, they not. Certain scents or whatever that you use, certain certain scents don't even scrub your body. Don't even scrub your skin like that, bro. There's certain ones that are like, they're like really loose. You'll feel it. There's certain ones where you start putting it on, you'll feel it. You'll be able to feel it. But then there's other ones out there that you'll put on and you'll be like, okay, this shit is way too loose. What the hell? It don't do anything. So shut the hell up, nigga. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Jay, I want to see who can complete the mission faster. Oh, me, easy. And oh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this one going to be for the Wiltshire. I'm not going to lie, bro. There's no way in hell we could post this DSG. I think this one been a little too loud. Can't call me Judas. No. I'm going to show you how real play it gets down. Double text. Stop me. Still getting ice cream. You know, like, yeah, right now, see Nettie. I'm live. My nerves look like miracle workers. Me, then you. Give me some. Low key, hop in the shower real quick. I've been sweating all day, oh, walking around. Fresh. Oh, nigga, they about to go to pound town. And they about to be in guts. I can't go out like that. I'm taking back what I gave them. Yo, what's up? You down to kick it right now for a little bit? Yeah. All right, send that address. She dropped the pin. I told you. She wanted to fuck me the whole time. You just stole that nigga, bitch. I'm that nigga is Judas. <laughs> now, now, look. When I say shit like, "Yo, niggas' only accomplishment in this world, in this life, is how many bitches they fuck," bruh, these niggas get paid to do it. It is what it is. Yo, look. I can't down them niggas for doing it. There's plenty of niggas out there who do it, but at the end of the day, hey, these niggas get paid to do it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, some of y'all niggas waste too much of your time out there trying to chase and get bitches. These niggas get paid to do it. Fuck it. Come on. Move it over. Where are we at? We are trying to find an ice cream place. I've been looking up directions, but it's just it's just not showing. That's what I mean by giving up on Look at that. All that just to not get it. The game, bro. I'm just tired of losing. I'm not a loser, bro. Hi vlog, we just finished round one. It's my first time in the back of the car and we're about to go to round 13, so we'll keep you updated. All right, bye. That bitch love that dick, I ain't gonna lie. She wanted 13 rounds. That's in love with the dick. You gotta start charging. Your dick is too valuable. He left her on the corner of the street. I'm a that nigga got that Yo, dog. Even that, I'm so proud of you. I ain't gonna lie, you big dog now, man. Damn, you the truth, wow, brother. Wow. Who is this man? You was hard for that, you was hard for that. We drove past, she was on that corner. Corner said, make more. You didn't get an Uber? Like, yo, niggas buying them? Yo, Cassie, this is the, the minority spring break for dummies. Oh, no. You the truth, brother. I remember you, when you, I was the truth. She was even like, just leave it in for the whole night. Whoa, like, whoa, yeah, yeah. what? This was like after the fifth round. I thought it was just going to be one and done. She goes home. She wanted to spend the night. You know what you did wrong? You did nothing. Her. That's just me, though. That's just me. That's why they always come back. <laughs> See, that's why I like being older, because like, you don't be a whore anymore. I really, I really like when I get the when I get the fucking fall asleep in the bitch. Bruh. Like, bruh. I remember one girl took pictures and shit. I'm over there. I fell asleep right in that motherfucker as soon as I nutted. And she over there, she was like, 
taking pictures. She was all happy, and I'm like, <laughs> bitch, I met her like two minutes. You know what I'm saying? But she was happy. I, 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 <laughs> But she, but she loved it though. I ain't like two minutes. It was like four. But yeah, she loved that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit I gotta be on. Yeah, I learned. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere we go, niggas be showing love. Shit is dope. Oh, shit, the minority. Yo, let me get a picture with y'all real quick. All, all love, all love. Shout out to y'all, bro. All on my mind now is just like all I can do is improve myself. I can't be mad at any. See, bro, now now you feeling like you didn't accomplish anything because you didn't get no pussy. What did I, that's why I, didn't I tell y'all? Don't I constantly tell y'all? Actually, yo, do go out there and learn how to have fun because I promise you, if you focus all, if you focus so much, so strictly on women, you're gonna feel like your night is wasted if you don't end up getting them. If you just go out with the intent on having fun, it'll be so much better for you. I promise. Anybody else? Hello. I just got done filming. Do you you need gotta somebody? grab ice cream. Don't get me wrong. I FW these niggas, but if I my daughter ever ended up on this channel, I'm fighting these niggas. You need to fight yourself because why did you allow your daughter to get on there? Say for instance, bro, because I even plan on making a video about this when people say, because there'd be so many people that would say, oh man, um, yo, nah, some of these kids need to get whipped, whooped. No, you just need to raise your kids better. That is your fault. A lot of people don't understand how, that is, that is so many, that is the parents fault, bro. So many of y'all raise y'all kids terribly. Granted, you can't control exactly how your kid is going to be, but there's a lot of things you can instill upon your children, you know what I'm saying, that's going to show you how they're going to actually be. Like, say, for instance, there's a lot of kids out there, the reason why they act the way they do because their parents are gone half the time. Their parents want to come back. The only time they have time to be around their kids is when they're whooping them and disciplining them. Of course, you're going to want to whoop your kids all the time and they need to get whooped when you're never there. Let's say, for instance, with me. The reason why we needed to get whooped, my aunt and uncle was never home. Like I told you, we go to school in the morning, my aunt's leaving for work. My uncle's coming home after we go on a the bus. Then all of a sudden, by the time I get home, he's leaving for work. My aunt don't come home until about 6, 7 o'clock. By the time she get home, she don't want anybody to bother her. So she go to her room, lock the door, don't even talk to anybody. The fuck you expect kids to do? We got to raise ourselves. We raise ourselves. You expect us to just be good? Oh, nah, now you got to whoop us because you, you didn't have a single time to talk to us, ever. There was never a time you sat us down and had conversations with us and tried to instill any wisdom upon us or try to help us out at all. You left us to raise ourselves, so the only thing you can do is whoop us. So anyways, if your daughter ends up on that channel, that's your fault. I'm going to explain to my daughter to never do that. I tell my daughter so many times, always, always to respect herself. Just like I tell my son, respect yourself. Do you ever want to end up like me? Do you know I tell my son that nonstop? Do you want to end up like me? I have two baby moms. You know how much I hate this? The fact that I can't see y'all every day. The fact that both of my kids don't spend every day together. You know how much I hate that? The fact that I got to defect all of the bullshit I done went through with y'all moms and everything like that. You think I want to go through that? No. That's what I'm saying. You got to teach them yourselves, y'all. Where at? My secret spot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a whip, so... I'm going to pick you up. Uh, maybe, man. Because I'm about to... See? Look at them. Too excited. So focused on getting pussy. This is what I'm saying. And then you're going to feel like, yo, your night's wasted. Instead of going out there to spring break to have fun, this is what happens. Bruh, that's why I said shout out to the nigga Tim. That nigga Tim, he show look, he shows me constantly that he just goes out in life and has fun. That's it, bro. He enjoys himself. He ain't worried about all of these bitches nonstop. Without structure, uh, building can't stand. Yes, the stronger the foundation, the more the building can withstand. Thank you, Deja. And I'm definitely setting a strong foundation for my kids. So, hey. Go to the beach. Yeah, she's playing defense. You still gotta know how to figure out how to score. You don't get frustrated because the defense is good. My contract just got extended. I'm just irritated all the time because I'm losing. I'm hungry. I can't keep it. Mad all the time because you ain't getting some pussy. Losing like this. Ooh, you got some talent. Huh? She said she could take her to the pool either um Saturday or Sunday. All right. She said Which she one, black Kylie or white Kylie? I know white. All right. She said um she has nine. All right, all right. Y'all in the house, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, y'all, what y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before y'all even think about eating. All right, so there's pizza in the fridge. Now, that does not say y'all have to eat that. Y'all like the wings. If y'all, y'all are more than welcome to eat them. But at the same time, where the little boy at? You hear me? Mm -hmm. All right. Then um, y'all have those macaroni cups, okay? 
Y'all have side dishes rather than just trying to eat wings if y'all gonna eat the wings. I don't mind y'all eating them, but just try to have some side dishes with them, with it, okay? Also, like I said, you have pizza there. If that's what y'all would like, uh, yeah, but just eat dinner and stuff like that. And uh, look, what are y'all planning on eating? Wings. wings. What about you, Adrian? Pizza. All right, that's fine. Isabella, like I said, try to eat. If you want, you can eat a macaroni cup or something with it, okay? Uh, if you want to eat wings just by themselves, you can, but I would suggest a side dish also. You want you want pizza and a macaroni cup? That no, mess, that might mess your stomach up. Oh. Yeah, I'm not trying to have you do all that. No, pizza and macaroni does not mix well together. Are we about to watch games? Of course. <laughs> Steph, are you there? I want to see y'all. I don't know y'all like that. A little now, Adrian, there's a lot of pizza though, so you have a lot, okay? She matched with you? Hinge is better than Tinder. I've been telling y'all that. I just haven't been going on Hinge because I get all my bust downs in person now. This is realistic right here. Best way to ask me out is by proposal. I'm mad that they pointed the camera at that big toe that looked like it got hit with a hammer. I don't know why Damn they it, what the this nigga toe, bro. I don't know why they pointed at this nigga toe, bro. Posing. Oh, I like her player build. Mia, let's just say she's a sweetheart. She's a whore. She's a whore. That's what that means. I'll brag she's about you to my friends whore. if you like to rumple. What's rumple? Let's look at an Urban Dictionary. What see how rumple? these pictures can be it's deceiving? You can see she's a little fat. She's not uh, fat. What look are you at, talking look at, about? Like, bro, come on, dog. Really? Not with the stomach being out right here. Like, nigga, I can see if she was just a chest up type girl. Bro, she got a whole picture right there with a stomach. Like, really, my nigga? Yeah, she, here, she looks skinny, Bobby. Really, bro? She still got the same... Look, bro. Some girls have a skinny face and they fat. Some girls got a fat face and they skinny. She just got a chunkier face than, you know what I'm saying, that don't necessarily match with her body. But even though, even then, her face is not fat. Yeah, that's how she looks now. And that's why she put it as the last picture. You're the reason bitches have eating disorders. Oh, Typical Sunday hungover. What a I'm, I'm glad Zeb called him out for that. Brother, watch your language. Sorry. It's children who watch our channel. I ain't gonna lie. They st <laughs> Nigga, Zeb is retarded, bro. Nigga, no, nigga hell, no, no kids are fucking... What the hell, bro? Kids are not watching your channel, my nigga. Talent. I would hope not. I would hope not. Jeez. That's what I'm saying on Hinge. You know why bitches like it? Because it seems that it's less like... They're all horse. They're all horse. They got talent they on Hinge. They drinking. Cuddling, I'm a professional cuddler. Utilize the dog. That's the perfect bait. Use that as ammunition. Bet dub, my dog will beat your dog's ass. Bitch got Dunkin' Donuts. Wow. She a broke bitch. This bitch 5'11", though. She tall. I take trees down. Special, special education. education. That, 5'11 is tall? That's, that ain't really real. That ain't, yeah, that ain't a real teacher. Yeah. That ain't a real teacher. I got, I, mean, I got family members that's in the special <laughs> ed. I got special ed teachers in my family. I don't look at that nigga like he's smart. Damn. All you do is walk them niggas around campus. You wanna Yo, bro, 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 bro. There's no way this nigga just said that. There's no way this nigga just said that, bro. I don't look at, you know what, man? Fuck with her? You like ugly bitches? Oh, Cooking for my family, I, I can help. You can help, or bitch, you can cook for me. Not everyone is light skinned with a great smile and no acne. Ooh. Ooh. What do you, I, bro? See, see, this is the reason why I tell y'all you gotta have confidence in yourself. Don't try to compare yourself to others. Have confidence in yourself. Either you red pill or the blue pill. No. <laughs> what the fuck? That's four. That's your speed. That's your speed. Uh, I'm weirdly attracted to people who type in lowercase. I'm the exception, all caps. Something I take pride in is the way I was raised, the way my parents brought me up. Oh. Um, I she looked like a Mormon. Uh, my value system, my morals. Most importantly, the opportunities I choose to take. <laughs> bitch, this is not a job interview. <laughs> Any bitch with colored lights, red flag. That's your body frame, though. Well, this is my perfect body frame. I knew she was a basketball she a player. Hooper. I don't fuck with hoopers. 1v1, one one. loser one. pay for dinner. Ooh. Oh, brother. I ball on her. She looks like my other Mexican bitch. Someone who would go to concerts with me? I got a private microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I would swipe left on. For everybody in here who feels like, yo, man, I, this is the life you want, just remember, these niggas get paid to do this. For everybody on here, he gets paid to do this. They get, I mean, they get paid to do this, to go out there, get women and shit like that, chase them, uh, fuck random women and everything like that. This, look, just remember, once you get older, if you plan on trying to do this, you ain't getting paid for it. So once you get older, I promise you're going to start thinking, damn, I cannot believe I wasted this much time chasing after women. And I can't, I can't believe out of all these experiences, the only thing I can say is that I fucked different women in these places. That's it. I promise you, bro. If you now, look, just like spring break, 
You can go there, do jet skis. You can do the uh, parasailing, all types of shit, bro. You can do the helicopter rides. There's so much stuff for you to do. But I promise you, if you go out there just hyper-focused on women and you don't fuck any, then you're going to hate it. And then if you do end up doing it, and that's all you do, you're going to be like, damn, I went to spring break, and the only thing I can say I did was have sex with a bunch of different women. And that's it. I heard personally. Men who slightly resemble Jim Carrey. I often get compared to Trey Song. Is that a deal breaker? Bro, let's yeah. hit this motherfucking club, bro. I'm trying to dance on some shit. I'm horny now. <laughs> nah. Fuck this virtual game. <laughs> we in the Uber right now. About to turn up, headed to we the nightclubs. Bitch run them pros up. Mr. Booster's big bank, bro. I don't even. Wow. Wow. W video, no bullshit regardless. No, no bullshit. W video because they get paid to do it. W video because they get paid to do it, bro. They get paid to do it. It is what it is. W video, man. W video. Cozy Boy Baby said, Daquan, you can say that shit because you've been through it. You're telling a bunch of men that can only dream of it. Your opinion is biased because you can choose to slow down. Most men never get the choice to say that. I'm going to slow down. Yeah, but look, bro. That's why I try to help. I didn't have anybody to tell me to slow down. That's another thing, bro. Nobody told me to respect myself as a man. Bro, I didn't realize when I was doing all of that shit, I had absolutely no respect for myself. And I didn't realize how many opportunities and um and times I missed out on just by doing that. This like, bro, like I told y'all, all the countries I've been to, do y'all ever hear me telling y'all about the architecture? Do y'all ever hear me telling y'all about museums and stuff I visited, the history, anything? Y'all literally only hear me say, yeah, I fuck bitches here, fuck bitches here, fuck bitches here. That's not cool, bro. Once you're done, you can be like, damn, that's really all I, that's all I did. You know how much I hate that? I went to the capital of Croatia and can't remember a single thing besides fucking bitches. And going to clubs and fucking bitches. That's it. I went to Slovenia. The only thing I can remember is fucking bitches. I was in Aviano, Italy for two years. The only thing I can remember is fucking bitches. Like, bro, it's like, bro, I didn't do anything. Nigga, I went to Miami. I was on a yacht with Fresh. And then I fucked the bitch. And the only, I, like, the yacht thing, that's an experience. But what was the goal? To fuck something. Because that's all I could think of. But now it's like, bro, like I said, I'm too old. I don't be thinking like that, bro. I don't be thinking like that, man. I be thinking, bro, it's, all, it's more so about experiences rather than shit like that, bro. For real. So, Almighty Toast said, uh, you don't hear Daquan talk about all the adventures he had in Italy. Yup. It was adventures he had in Italian pussy. Yup. That's it, bro. That's really it. It's not cool, man. Like I said, you realize how much... And then another thing, like I said, you realize how much time you wasted. You know how much time I wasted in my life just fucking women? I wasted so much time, bro. Nigga, there's so much other things I could have done. Bro, do you not realize how rich I'd be if I chose to focus on my career, my craft, and the, traje the trajectory of my life? If I would have focused on that, it would have been so much better. I didn't care about where my life was going. If I focused on those, the most important... Gay. Just got home from work. What's good, Duncan DSG? The most important gate. So you had to... So that's what you had to use. There was no other one that you could have used. You had to use that. Uh, you had to use that one. It couldn't have been anyone else. It, it just had to be, yup, the gay one. Uh-huh. I understand. They succeed, man. Hey, man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. What the show. fuck is this? I was about to say, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Wow. 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 Ah, we gotta watch this, DSG. All right, we just watched something. We just watched something wild as shit. So we got to watch something different. Uh, VDR says she dropped cheeks down tonight. How many $40 was lost in that time? Jarkudo, I never paid for pussy. Like, do you really think I was out there paying for pussy for real? Like, bro, niggas got to understand what content is and what ain't. First of all, bro, the only time you even heard about me even putting up some bread for anything was at a massage parlor, bro. The fuck? Bro, you really think I was out there paying for pussy for real? Like, bro. Like I said, I think a lot of y'all niggas